Ten years ago, the United Nations designated the 5th of September as the International Day of Charity. The UN recognises the pivotal role philanthropy plays in relieving human suffering. And at BSI, so do we. I was really blown away. I only joined uh, BSI in September last year and I was really blown away to see that we had this volunteer day. It's a really good way to meet people and it's a really nice way to give back. It gives the opportunity uh, to our people to give back to their local communities, to the societies where they live. I feel very honoured to actually work with a charity um, that support people that aren't as well off as I am um, and something that sometimes we can take for granted. I come away, just feel, I just feel a bit a better person for doing it really. I believe it is more blessed to give than to receive and one of the synonyms for uh, charity is love. So to commemorate this International Day of Charity, we want to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you for giving the precious free time you have in the week to ensure that children from all over the world can continue to learn and grow. Operations Christmas Child, um, every year they collect shoebox gifts for children um, around the world uh, who are struggling with some of the world's biggest uh, challenges like natural disasters, war-ravaged countries. This is something you can bring um, joy in the life of um, the children who are less privileged. Thank you for using your time to lift the spirits of children struggling with unimaginable medical challenges. The Kokoradama Project performed live in front of ill and disabled children. It is about us um, helping each other and um, getting involved in the community. I personally was very moved by their organisational purpose. Thank you for mentoring young people craving guidance and necessary skills in a rapidly changing workplace environment. I really like our work with Career Ready because it's really providing the opportunity uh, to disadvantaged uh, students uh, to really see what opportunities they have in the future in terms of career, in terms of their professional uh, lives, and to really believe that uh, if they work hard, that they really have lots of great opportunities waiting for them in the future. Thank you for going above and beyond to make sure your child's school has all the support they need. The actual project that we've been working on uh, this year is uh, the replacement of the adventure playground, so the play equipment for the children. Just the feeling of appreciation from the children and, and the staff just is worth, is worth everything. Um, I'm getting a bit emotional talking about this. Oh. The program I'm involved with, the charity is Best Buddies. Uh, Best Buddies is for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. My buddy, his name is Sean. He has so much energy and life. And for me, it's not just about the volunteering. This is an, a friendship. And for me, it's a friendship for life. Thank you for working together to ensure that people in your community have enough food for themselves and their families. Thank you for working tirelessly to replenish depleted blood banks, giving life-saving resources where they're needed most. Thank you for volunteering your time to ensure that the most vulnerable members of your community have access to vaccines as we continue to battle COVID-19. Thank you for pushing your body to the limit, running and walking to raise the funds necessary to find a cure. Thank you for continuing to ensure that our planet is clean and healthy for generations to come, raising awareness and inspiring others to do what they can to make a difference. Come on guys, put some effort in. Good job. Thank you for opening your hearts and your homes to refugee families fleeing a war zone. Your selfless acts of charity in response to the Ukraine crisis inspired us to double our paid volunteer days in 2022. I've absolutely loved being part of this charity work because it's really incredible to see how 
my skill set is able to benefit that charity and the feeling that it gives me back is worth a million dollars. Uh, I would very much recommend if you can commit your time to get involved yourself. Oftentimes, one of the biggest questions we ask ourselves before giving back is like, where do I start? Or will it ever make an impact? I would say start with something small, as small as probably helping your neighbor. It's just as impactful. Charity に参加してぜひ楽しむと笑顔になるっていうことを思って今できることからチャレンジしてみてください。Once you get comfortable with the idea, because a lot of people say to me, I don't know if I could fit this into my schedule. I think once you find a charity that you're really interested in, you'll find that it's so rewarding that you won't think about the hours. There's no right, there's no wrong ways of doing it. I feel we'll begin to see countless ways we can be a blessing to others. It's all about taking that first step. Always remember that single act of giving makes a huge impact. We appreciate everything you do, giving so much of yourselves to ensure the safety, health, and happiness of others. Thank you. We're always looking for ways to help you help even more. For questions on how we can support your charitable work or to share your stories of giving, please get in touch.